They're all fun, placing Neverly Sun on the far outside, coming for the lead. Blue Toe Airline Strike, Executor three wide into the turn. There is Sun Blue Toe on the inside, but Executor drives up on the outside and second Earth's Airline Strike. In third on the outside, there goes Neverly Sun, followed in that turn. TA Super Duper, Keystone Sensual. He's right and QV Bozo at the end. And from the outside, Executor takes command three parts of a length on the inside. Blue Toe holes in second. That's Neverly Sun on the outside. They're by the quarter, 29 seconds flat. Executor has a lead, but Blue Toe is coming back on the inside. On the outside, Neverly Sun parked in third. It's airline strike right there and fourth by four legs. TA Super Duper, Keystone Sensual, and he's right. They're moving for the half, and Blue Toe comes back to regain command. It's Executor on the outside, followed by Airline Strike. Right there and third on the outside, it's Neverly Sun. Here comes Keystone Sensual. 59 and 4 into the clubhouse turn. It's Blue Toe with the lead. It's Executor on the outside, followed by Airline Strike. Here comes Neverly Sun. He's moving up three wide. Now they curve into the back stretch, moving for the final quarter. On the inside, it's Blue Toe, but Neverly Sun drives up now to take command, but here comes Keystone Sensual. Now moving to second on the outside. It's Blue Toe back to third, followed by QView Bozo, and he's right. Now they drive into the far turn, and there goes Keystone Sensual. It's Keystone Sensual now to challenge and take command. It's Neverly Sun in second, followed by Blue Toe, QView Bozo, and he's right. Around the turn, Keystone Sensual, three parts of a length. Neverly Sun in second, he's right, and Blue Toe down the stretch they come. It's Keystone Sensual with the lead. It's Neverly Sun in second. He's right and QVU Bozo. It's Keystone Sensual straightening out at the bar. Neverly Sun and he's right. In the first race, number five, Keystone. And here they come. They're all fun trotting Ruffles. Randolph going for the lead on the outside. Never seven is there. On the inside, Cardinal Tent and Land Lover. Into the turn they trot, and it's Cardinal Tent up front, but going off stride. On the inside, Land Lover, Ruffles, Randolph. On the inside of horses, Mr. HD's high, followed now by Dover Surge. They're heading for the quarter. Your leader is Land Lover, a length Ruffles, Randolph. Hurt comes Never Seven. Now moving third, now moving to second on the outside. It's Never Seven now taking command. It's Land Lover in second, the quarter. 31 and 1. It's Never Seven by two lengths. It's Land Lover in second, two lengths. Ruffles Randolph in third, two lengths. Mr. HD's high. Here comes Jumping Jim Dover Surge on the outside. Entering the stretch, driving for the half. It's Never Seven with the lead. It's Land Lover in second, Ruffles Randolph trots in second on the outside, followed now by Land Lover in third, Dover Surge and Mr. HD's high. The field's off the half. 103 and 3 into the clubhouse turn, and it's never seven. Maintaining the lead, Ruffles Randolph trots up on the outside, followed by the Land Lover in third. It's Dover Surge in fourth, Mr. HD's high. Jumping Jim and Bittersweet Pride. They curve into the back stretch, never seven, but there goes Ruffles Randolph. Ruffles Randolph on the outside takes command. It's never seven back to second. Dover Surge in third. On the inside, Land Lover, Mr. HD's high. Nowhere to go and jumping, Jim. It's Ruffles Randolph now a length. It's never seven in second on the outside. It's Dover Surge and Land Lover on the far outside.
outside, that's Jumping Jim. Your leader is Ruffles Randolph. On the far outside, Jumping Jim is there. And never seven. Here they come trotting for home. Ruffles Randolph has the lead under the whip. Jumping Jim on the far outside. Ruffles Randolph. Here comes Jumping Jim on the outside. Those two at the wire. Jumping Jim and Ruffles Randolph. That is a photo finish. And here they come. They're off and pacing Wellsy coming for the lead. Dreamy Girl and R.R. Kosla into the turn. They race and Wellsy takes command on the inside. It's Dreamy Girl right there in second. There goes Sassy Renfa now charging into third. On the inside, that's R.R. Kosla back to third. It's Sassy Renfa parked in fourth. Fox Valley Janine followed by Native Society. It's Carolina Love. I am a smoothie too. And trailing the field, Chloe's ideal. They're moving by the quarter, and Wellesley has the lead. They're by the quarter, 29 and 3, and Wellesley shows the way to Lanks. Dreamy Girl in second now by two lengths. Here comes Native Society, ranging up on the outside. Native Society, now with a rush to take command. It's Wellesley in second. Here comes Carolina Love, now surging to the outside. Followed on the inside of horses, Dreamy Girl on the outside. Here comes I am a smoothie, too. Off stride, now is Chloe. Ideal. The field's moving by the half. Your leader, Native Society, a minute and three. Into the clubhouse turn, and Native Society has the lead on the rail. But Carolina Love drives at her on the outside in second. That's Wellesley in third. Followed on the inside, Dreamy Girl in fourth. I am a smoothie, too. And to the outside, Sassy Renva. Now they curve into the back stretch, and Native Society opens up the lead by four lengths. It's Carolina Love in second now by four lengths. Followed now by Dreamy Girl. Here comes Fox Valley Janine on the far outside. They race around that far turn. Native Society has the lead by six likes. It's Carolina Love in second. Here comes Fox Valley Janine. Now moving third. Now moving to second on the outside. Carolina Love and Dreamy Girl. Here they come turning far home. It's Native Society opening up the lead with every stride. It's Fox Valley Janine. Now moving into second. Followed by Carolina Love as they come to the wire. It's Native Society with the lead. Native Society in full command. Fox Valley Janine and Carolina Love. Come. Errol Fan trotting. There goes Lake Tahoe coming for the lead. There goes Poco Rebel moving right with them. Joined on the inside of horses. Fish Story into the turn. They race. It's a battle for the lead. Off stride in that turn is Fish Story. They're driving for the quarter. Off stride in that turn is Iris Pop. They're moving for the quarter and Poco Rebel on the outside now takes command. It's Lake Tahoe in second a gap to Nordel Quivivi. Followed in that turn by On Tap on the inside. That's Lady Jenna Gay. They're moving now for the quarter and your leader is Poco Rebel the quarter. 31 and 1. Poco Rebel has the lead to Lake Lake Tahoe is right there in second to Lanks Nordel Clevivi in third by two lengths. Here comes Lady Jenna Gay ranging up on the outside. Followed in that turn by On Tap and to the outside. That's Cross Creek. A gap now to Fish Story and Pop Sarah. They're moving for the half mile marker. It's Stanley Banks and Poco Rebel showing the way by two lengths. Lake Tahoe is out slightly in second. The field's halfway home. 105 and 3 into the clubhouse turn. It's Poco Rebel with the lead. 
lead. Here comes Lake Tahoe, driving out of second. On the inside, Nardell Quay Vivian, third on the outside, Lady Jenna Gay. And there goes Cross Creek moving up on the outside. Now they curve into the black stretch, and Pumpka Rebel has the lead, but Lake Tahoe drives out around the outside. On the inside of horses, Nardell Quay Vivian, followed by Lady Jenna Gay and Cross Creek. They drive up the back stretch. It's a battle for the lead with Poco Rebel on the inside. Lake Tahoe is right alongside and second in these two. Drive around that far turn. Poco Rebel regains command. It's Lake Tahoe on the outside, followed by Nordel Quay Vivi on the inside that's on tap. Here they come trotting for home. It's Poco Rebel drawing clear by two lengths. It's Lake Tahoe in second as they come to the wire. It's Poco Rebel with the lead. It's Poco Rebel opening up to the wire. Lake Tahoe up for second. Nordell Quivivi is third. In the fourth race, number four, Poco Rebel was first. It's Whack the Bush going for the lead on the inside. Flanky Jake is there as Ultra Triple Legs far behind. Into the turn there is Sun Flanky Jake. Now takes command. It's Whack the Bush. Perked on the outside. Followed by Special Equipment in third. Four lengths. Rave along. In fourth by three lengths. Storm and Gimbal. Followed in the turn by Necktie. Storm and Ralph and Farback trailing the field. Ultra Trip. They're moving for the quarter and Whack the Bush. Has the lead in the rail. It's Flicky Jake in second, the quarter, 29 and 2. Whack the Bush steps out by two and a half. It's Flicky Jake in second, special equipment. In third, two lengths, Rave Along. In fourth, by two and a half lengths, followed by Storm and Gimble. It's Necktie, followed by Storm and Ralph. Entering the stretch, here comes special equipment with a rush. Not a challenge, Whack the Bush. Those two battle for the lead as they move for the half. It's special equipment drawing clear. Here comes Rave Along, now moving fourth, now third, now second at the half. A minute and three. Into the clubhouse turn they race and special equipment. Shows the way as Rave Along moves to the outside and second whack the bush in third. On the inside, Flaky Jake and Storm and Gimble. Now they curve into the black stretch moving for the final quarter. Special equipment, but Rave Along drives upon the outside. It's whack the bush back to third. Storm and Gimble. And there goes Necktie driving between horses. They drive up the back stretch and Rave Along draws clear by two two lines. It's special equipment in second. Necktie now moving into third. Now taking over second in the final eighth of a mile. It's Rave Along with the lead. Necktie in second in special equipment. Here they come turning for home. Rave Along has the lead by four lengths. It's Necktie in second special equipment. And Storm and Gimble, they're coming to the wire with Rave Along. It's Rave Along opening up the lead. It is all Rave Along tonight, followed by Necktie and Storm and Gimble third. Emerald fan placing Mary's reply, coming for the lead, Lady Vents on the inside, and it's those two into the turn, Lady Vents benefits from the inside, it's Mary's reply in second, three lengths, TV Ziegel, in third, two lengths, Anita Skipper, St. Clair, followed by Miss Logan Raven, Flair Messenger, and toss up at the end, it's Lady Vance with the lead, Mary's reply, in second by three lengths, TV Ziegel, in third, two lengths, Anita Skipper, St. Clair, Miss 
Logan Riven Flare Messenger and Toss Up. Positions unchanged, 29 and 4 the quarter. And Lady Vance has the lead in the real Murray's reply. Right there in second, two lengths, TV Seagull. In third, Sunita Skipper in fourth, followed by St. Clair in fifth, two lengths, Miss Logan Riven. Entering the stretch, driving for the half, but it's all Lady Vance. It's Lady Vance showing the way, Murray's reply. In second, Sunita Skipper parked on the outside, followed on the outside, St. Clair and TV Seagull. The field's halfway home, 101 and 1 into the clubhouse turn. It's Lady Vance with the lead, Murray's reply. Right there in second, Sunita Skipper parked in third, TV Seagull is right there in fourth, St. Clair, followed by Miss Logan Riven, Flair Messenger, and still trailing, that's toss up. They curve into the back stretch and Lady Vance draws clear again. On the outside, Sunita Skipper in second. On the inside, Mary's reply back to third. It's St. Clair TV single, Miss Logan Raven. There's three horses across the track. On the inside, Lady Vance. Sunita Skipper between horses. On the inside, on the inside of horses, Mary's reply and St. Clair. Hurt. Come, so need a skipper on the outside to take command. Here they come, turning far home. It's so need a skipper now to take command. On the inside, Lady Vance is second. Mary's reply. Here comes Miss Logan Raven. Here comes Toss Up on the far outside. Miss Logan Raven and Toss Up. Those two at the bar. Toss Up and Miss Logan Raven. That is a photo finish. Here they come. Merrill Fan placing Scotty Buck going for the lead. Snow White is there. Melvin's must take in a strike. Into the turn they race and Melvin's must take. No takes command at Snow White. In second on the outside, a strike parked in third. On the outside, Fox Valley Rocket Jean to fourth. It's Scotty Buck in fifth by two lengths. Bar Mary Bird. What a catch and Harry's Colt at the end. Your leader, Melvin's must take, but a strike drives upon the outside. Re strike on the outside, Melvin's mistake. These two battle for the lead. They're by the quarter. 29 and 1 the quarter. It's Melvin's mistake with the lead restrike. He's back to second. That's Snow Wayne in third. On the outside, Fox Valley Rocket parked in fourth. It's Scotty Buck tucked in fifth bar. Mary Bird followed by What a Catch and Harry's Cult. And train the stretch driving for the half. Melvin's mistake maintains the lead restrike on the outside. Followed by Snow Wayne right there in third. Fox Valley Rocket on the outside. Scotty Buck at the half. 59 and 4 into the clubhouse turn. Melvin's mistake maintains a lead. It's no Wayne in second race. Strike on the outside. Followed by Scotty Buck. Fox Valley Rocket. Edging to fifth on the outside. Followed by Bar Mary Bird. Oh, what a catch. And Harry's Cult. They curve into the back stretch. And Melvin's mistake has the lead. Snow Wayne. Here comes Fox Valley Rocket. Three wide on the far outside. Third. Now moving to second. And there goes Bar Mary Bird. And there goes Fox Valley Rocket to take command. It's Fox Valley Rocket, your leader. Melvin's mistake in second. It's Bar Mary Bird. Here comes Harry's Colt on the far outside. Now they drive around that far turn. It's Fox Valley Rocket with the lead. Bar Mary Bird and Harry's Colt. Here they come turning for home. Fox Valley Rocket cuts the corner. Bar Mary Bird is out for the drive. Harry's Colt is there. It's Fox Valley Rocket. It's Bar Mary Bird between horses. Bar Mary Bird on the inside. Fox Valley Rocket, Bar Mary Bird, Fox Valley Rocket, and Harry's Colt at the bar. And 
they're off. Never VJ coming right for the lead. There goes Whispering Mariah. Rorty's fling into the turn. They race Rorty's fling. Benefits from the inside. Never VJ drives the second on the outside. It's Whispering Mariah back to third. Rosedale Diane now drops in fourth. Strike of beauty in fifth by two lengths. It's Jenny's pride, bittersweet spirit, and battle and queen at the end. And from the outside, it's Never VJ. Never VJ now takes command. Rorty's fling in second to Lanx, whispering Mariah third. They're by the quarter, 29 and to the quarter. Rorty's fling now regains command. Never VJ is parked on the outside, whispering Mariah closing the gap in third, followed by Rosedale Diane Strike of Beauty, followed by Jenny's Pride Battle and Queen, and Bittersweet Spirit at the end. Your leader on the outside is Never VJ, but Rorty's fling is holding tough in second. Never Spring Maria now surging into third. The fails halfway home. Fifth. 59 and 4 into the clubhouse turn and Rorty's fling on the inside between horses that's never VJ here comes a whispering Maria whispering Maria is up to challenge on the far outside that strike of beauty followed between horses Rosedale Diane they curve into the back stretch and there goes strike of beauty strike of beauty now taking command it's whispering Maria moving right with her on the inside Rorty's fling battling queen and Rosedale Diane now they drive into the far turn. It's Strike of Beauty now to take command of length. Whispering Maria in second. Rosedale Diane in third. On the outside, Battle and Queen. Here they come, turning for home. Strike of Beauty, three parts of a length. Whispering Maria fighting to come back. Down the stretch they come. Your leader, Strike of Beauty. Whispering Maria trying to come back on the inside. It's Strike of Beauty. Whispering Maria on the far outside. Here comes Jenny's Pride at the war. That is a photo finish. Merrill Fun trotting, there goes Honeyblade going right for the lead. Heather Kyle moving right with her, and it's those two into the turn they trot. And Honeyblade now takes command. It's Heather Kyle in second, a length. Bergamistress in third, a length. That's submerged and fourth, two lengths. Followed by Black Beaver and Doc Murphy at the end. Now they're moving for the quarter. Your leader is Honeyblade, a length. It's Heather Kyle right there in second, a length. Then a quarter. Bergamistress trots in third, two lengths. Submerged. Followed by Black Beaver, Doc Murphy. Positions unchanged the quarter. 31 and 3 the quarter. And Honey Blyde is your leader of length. It's Heather Kyle right there in second. Bergamistress in third a length and a quarter. Submerge Black Beaver and Doc Murphy at the end. Your leader is Honey Blyde. It's Honey Blyde with the lead. Bergamistress first over on the outside. Bergamistress just trots on by as they move for the half. It's Bergamistress now to the top. It's Honeyblade in second by a length and a quarter. Followed by Heather Kyle in the fields halfway home. 103 and 1 into the clubhouse turn. It's Bergamistress with the lead. It's Honeyblade in second. Heather Kyle now driving out of third. Followed by Submerged Black Beaver and Doc Murphy. They curve into the back stretch and it's all Bergamistress opening up the lead. It's Honeyblade in second on the outside. Heather Kyle in third. Now they race up the back stretch and Bergamistress has the lead on the rail by two and a half. It's Honey Blade and second Heather Kyle parked on the outside, followed by Submerged Black Beaver and Doc Murphy. Now they trot around that far turn and Bergamistress has the lead. It's Honey Blade and second, followed by Submerged. Now they're in the final eighth of a mile. Bergamistress opening up and up the lead with every stride. Here they come trotting for home. Bergamistress is all by herself. It's Honey Blade in second, followed by Submerge as Black Beaver goes off stride. Bergamistress in a romp. Number four, Berg.
And they're off. It's Shogun Yates going right for the lead on the inside. Park Authority is there. Now they drive for position, and Shogun Yates takes command. It's Timely Twinkle. In second, and there goes Meadow Rainbow. Moving to third on the outside, followed by Port Authority. Shoot Shine Kid on the inside. That's Dot Dot Dash, followed by Nowhere Special. It's Summeron and Poco Guy. And there goes Meadow Rainbow now to take command. It's Shogun Yates in second, like Timely Twinkle. Twinkle in third a length shoeshine kid followed by Port Authority and to the outside nowhere special 30 and 3 the quarter and the front meadow rainbow has the lead on the real a length shogun yates in second a length timely twinkle right there in third Here comes nowhere special edging the fourth on the outside entering the stretch driving for the half meadow rainbow has the lead it's shogun yates right there in second a length timely twinkle in third nowhere special edging the fourth on the outside followed on the outside by simmer on and shoeshine kid they're halfway home 103 and three into the clubhouse turn it's meadow rainbow with the lead it's shogun yates right there in second but nowhere special charge and the second on the outside. It's Shogun Yates back to third. It's Cimarron, followed by Timely Twinkle Poco Guy. It's Shoeshine Kid, followed by Dot Dot Dash and Park Authority at the end. Your leader is Meadow Rainbow, three parts of a length. Nowhere special on the outside. Shogun Yates right there in third, followed by Cimarron, Timely Twinkle. Now they race around that far turn. It's Meadow Rainbow with the lead. Nowhere special on the outside. Followed by Shogun Yates, Timely Twinkle, and to the outside, Poke. Go guy, here they come turning for home. It's Meadow Rainbow with the lead on the inside. Shogun Yates as they come to the wire. Meadow Rainbow, here comes Shogun Yates between horses. Shogun Yates, fastest of all. Meadow Rainbow and nowhere special. In the tenth, number three, Shogun Yates was first.